hello friends how are you doing so today i would like to show you how to import your revit 3d model to lumion so this tutorial will help you regardless of the version of revit you're using or regardless of the version of lumion you're using whether lumion 8 9 10 or 11 this tutorial will be helpful to you so before I proceed to the tutorial, I usually like to import uh, my Revit 3D model with the Lumion plugin that I have here. If you export your Revit 3D model using the FBX file, well, that is helpful too. But all the materials that you use in your 3D model, the, the color, the paints, the material will not be visible when you import it to lumion that is why i usually like to use this lumion plugin it to include your material in your revit 3d model so let's get to business so in this tutorial i'll start by using this lumion plugin so if you don't have this lumion plugin in your revit simply go to google and search for lumion plugin for revit 3d so once you see the plugin install it so this tab is going to appear in your revit software so what you're going to do is simply create a camera for the 3d model like i have my own here i'm using 3d view 8 so once you open it this way simply come to the lumion plugin tab then come to export then put the surface mode into normal I collect textures and export nodes then you click on export so this is going to ask you where exactly you want to save the file so i already created my home file and this is it new, new duplex dae that dae file is the one generated from this lumion plugin so i won't have to create another one for this so once you've done that save your own file to your desktop so that it will be easy to access so once you've done that simply open your lumion so in your lumion tab you may find something that appear like this so in this tutorial i'll be using this plain plain scene for my tutorial so simply click on the plain scene then come down to import over here click on the import once you click on the import then go to import new model once you've done that click on the new duplex e click on the file that you generated with your revit with your revit lumion plugin so this is my own file just click open so once you've done that you are going to okay so let me use this name so just make sure this import animation is toggled on then click add to library so once you've done that let's see how long this is going to take add to library so this is going to take a few minutes to add your revit 3d model to lumion This is loading. All right, there you go. So this is the model. You have the outline of that model this way. So what you're going simply going to do is simply click, right click on your mouse just once like this. So this is the, my Revit 3D model. You can see all the materials, the paint, the fence materials, the floor material that I use in Revit APS here simply because I use the Lumion plugin to export this file. So, once you've done this, you might simply use this wheel scroll on your mouse to simply drag it upward, 
press and hold and drag it upward so that you can have a balanced view of your 3D. So once you've done that, if you want to add other components, maybe buildings around your own model or trees, what I would first like you to do is, if you don't want to interrupt this view as it is, just simply click Control 1 on your keyboard. Yeah, that makes a sound of a snapshot. Then click Control 2 again. The reason why we're doing this is we don't want to interrupt this view that we have in our 3D. So these two snapshots that I took, we can find it under Photos here. Click on the Photos. So this is the first and the second snapshot that we took. So we want to leave this photo one as our normal 3D view that we do not want to interrupt at all. So come down to photo two. This view, we have the chance to interrupt it anyhow we want so that we'll be able to add all our components properly. So click on the photo two, then go to build. Now with this, Right click on your mouse, press and hold right click, then drag it upward so that we can get a top view of our model. So once we've done that, zoom out. So here I have the top view of my model so I can easily add all the components I want around my building. So let's start with some trees. Oh, sorry. Let's start with some house model. You can find the house model here in this outdoor icon then come down to here if you want to change the view or if you want to change the the model type so here we have various kind of houses let me choose the one that will fit in okay let me choose this residential building okay so to place this simply just drag your mouse and left click so let me place another one here. And place another one behind my building to make it real. So let me place some trees. Just simply go to tree icon, nature, then go to select object. So here you have various type of trees, type of flowers that will be that can beautify and enhance your environment. So let me choose this first. So I have this landscape here already done from Revit and I would like to place some trees here. So you can zoom out so that you can see how you're placing that properly. Okay. So I have this here. Let me make the interval like a 10 meter interval. All right. Okay. All right, let me place one here too. All right. So what about the other giant tree? Let me find some giant tree. Simply come back to select objects, then let's check other trees out. Okay, I have some giant trees there. So I would like to place some giant tree outside my building. All right, so let me place one here too. All right, so all these components we're placing in this top view, we can, will simply appear in the first view that we created, that, that view that we do not want to interrupt at all. Let's check it out and click on build. You see, so instead of placing the components in this view, might be difficult but once you use this uh the second view that we created that top view we made it much easier to place our component so if you want to go back to that component simply come back to the photo then click on the photo two then click on build we have our top view again okay if you don't have your top view again simply make sure you're using the photo two photo two then you can change it back to your top view. 
So if you want to change it back to your top view, we simply we have the same process. Just click left click, uh, right click your mouse and drag it up. All right, here we have our top view. Zoom out. Okay, so I would like to place another building here on this left side of my building. So let me use okay select object so i would like to choose a building that's resemble a duplex building in order to make it more look visible be sure that this does not climb my fence okay all right so you might choose to rotate this building in order to face your own so that the beauty can be visibly seen just come down to rotate then click this point then drag it okay as simple as that so here we have another building at this side so in this other view if you want to add the animation of like human figure some some flies some pets you can simply use the first view so let's go back to the first view this and choose build okay so here i want to add some animations people and animals i want to click that icon click select object so here you have various kind of uh, email figure that you can use so i would like to use this man caucasian all right and i would like to place it in my back only here all right so i would like to place another animation come to select object maybe in this case i would like to use a kid a little boy okay let me use this so if you want to place your vehicle too it is advisable you place it in this view so go to your transport go to transport icon and then go to select object so here we have the cars okay so i would like to use uh, let me use the salon car so All right, there you go. I have my car imported. And also, so to change this material, in Revit, this material of this cotton wall and the window is transparent. But as we import it to the Lumion, everything turned blank. How do we go about it? Simply press escape on your device. Then go to this, there are some hidden tab at this side, this left side of your computer. Then click on materials so first thing you will do is click on the material that you want to edit so I have the glass material that glass material include my window the curtain wall and that's it so once you click on it then come to outdoor I think I can find glass in outdoor this is glass okay so i would like to use um, this class panel too yeah so once you click on it then press ok so there you go so you may decide to go ahead and add some necessary component that you feel that it suits your drawing so in this tutorial this is where i'm going to end this tutorial so to render this um image that we this 3d model that we import from um revit simply come to the photo then here this is the first photo the first view that we choose in order to render so in this focal length you might decide to increase the focal length to zoom out your 3d model a little bit 15.2 let me get to 15.5 for something okay 15.6 i think this is okay so once you've done that you may still decide to use your the scroll wheel on your mouse to uh to get 
your 3d model balanced so once you've done that simply come to render photos so once you click on render photos it will uh, give you some option that you want to use in rendering so each of this quality of each of this option the, their quality varies i think this poster it has a very large quality and it takes a lot of time before it got rendered so this print file is of less quality to this poster this desktop is of less quality to print so let's go by the desktop render so choose the location that you want to render let's choose it let's use the desktop and let me give it a lumion render lumion render okay so simply click save so let's wait for our rendering to begin so once you ask once you start your rendering do not try to minimize your desktop because it's going to interrupt your rendering you can see the uh, instruction here please do not minimize the lumion window or click on the show desktop button or press ctrl or delete during rendering in order to get your rendering successful so once you've done all of this let's wait for the rendering wow this is very quick so lumion has the power to render faster and it is very realistic so let's open the folder and check it out so let me open it and see okay excellent so this is what we've done so you may decide to add some components in order to enhance this environment of this building so thank you guys for watching please kindly subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful be feel free to make comments on if you need more instruction or more uh, tutorial on how to go about the lumion software and please click like if you find this video helpful thank you